last few lower body trainings during the last two weeks have been pretty high volume. So a lot of volume PRs with high um, amount of sets and not really close to failure. And even though they're close to failure, I kind of feel like they're pretty fatiguing because it's just so much work at such a heavy weight. So I was thinking today I rather want to just perform a rep PR and I was thinking something like between 11 and 13 with 130 kilos. 11 reps with 130 will be a PR even though I have done 10 reps with 150. I'm probably gonna go for the lower end. I might just do 11 with 130 and then perform like two sets of 11 with 115 after that just to almost get kind of a deload training in if that makes sense because I can perform over 20 reps with 120 kilos so, um, so we're living with 115 it's gonna be very easy stuff and can allow me to recover a little bit in my in my quads after that we will have the um, we'll have a good mornings and again I'll just be doing ascending sets here because really what it does with ascending sets when I build up slowly um, and I only build up and don't go back down again it allows me to get in a lot of work really and and I can um, and allow me to easily feel where I'm at um, how, how close I'm getting to failure so I can easily interpret that um, last week I did a set of 15 with 50 kg, 60, 65 and 70 and I think today I'm just going to add a set with 55 kg. And for me, volumizing just works so much better than always increasing the reps. And I'm going to work up to just doing 5 sets of 15 with 70 kg over the next 10 weeks or so. And when I've done that, I'll just increase the weight, probably drop the volume down a little bit. Uh, maybe do like 2 or 3 sets of 15 with 80 kg. Maybe I'll start at 10 reps with 80 kg and then um, build up to 15 for a couple sets um, before then increasing the weight again. So basically double progression. That is the plan I have right now. Then after the good mornings I'm gonna have banded Nordics and I'm gonna have triceps. So really straightforward stuff but all combat movement these three that um, I mean not the Nordic wouldn't be described as combat movement because it's tightly um, it's like a leg curl still but it's more of a combat movement than an actual leg curl so in that way it's, I feel like it's better and it doesn't really give me much fatigue at all so maybe straightforward session but things like this have built my physique as it is now and it clearly works I haven't got, gotten the best of sleep so I'll need to get a couple hours now before I go train. Det er 